What's up everyone? In this short video I'm going to show you two methods of getting your photos from your phone onto your computer if you're using Google Photos. The first method is if you only want to download a few photographs but the second method is if you've got hundreds or even thousands of photos and videos uh, we're going to need to export them onto your computer using Google Takeout. So let's get started. Okay folks so the first thing on your computer is to log into your Google account. You can just type in Google login so put your email address and password in and then you should come to your Google account page. And if you don't come to the Google account page, if you go up to the Google apps up here in the top right hand corner and click on accounts, you see we're logged in. Okay, first thing we want to do then is go to our Google Photos app. So top right hand corner again. And within the apps here, we can see photos here. So let's click onto photos. Okay, so we're in our Google Photos and if you're using your Google Photos app on your Android phone or your Google phone or even iPhone for that matter, you should see replicated here the photographs that are on your phone and the photographs will be repeated in this area here. Ultimately, we're looking at these photographs on Google's computers, uh, so it should be an exact copy of whatever's on your phone. As you can see, my Google Photos here have only got a handful of photographs, which I just put in here just for the purpose of making this video. So let's imagine we want to download a few of these photographs onto our computer hard drive. So I'm using Windows 10 here, but it doesn't matter if you're using Windows 10 or 11. If we just want to download a handful of photographs, what we can do is if we hover the pointer over the photographs, you'll see these little tick boxes in the corner. So you can put a click into that. And also you can see that we can click into these here. And sometimes if you've got lots of photographs on one particular day, you should see a little tick box above the photographs just below the date here and what that will do is it will select all the photographs on that particular day so you could scroll down and you could click onto these the master tick box here and it will select everything from that particular day so once you've highlighted a few photographs if you go to the top right hand corner to the three dots up here we can click on download so what's happening now is we're downloading the photographs onto our computer and if we look down here in the bottom left hand corner if we click onto this little arrow if we open, we'll see this on our computer here in the downloads folder. We've got the photographs here. If I click into the zipped up folder here, we'll see these photographs here. OK, so they're now on our computer, this PC here, look. And if you wanted to, we could we can move all these photographs into our pictures folder if we want to. So what I'm the way I'm going to do it is to click on one of them. And if you press Control and A on your keyboard, that highlights everything. And then if you put the, leave the pointer on the highlighted area, Control and C will copy them. Or otherwise you can right click and copy there. Go to your pictures. And then if you right click and paste, it will put those photographs into, your, into the pictures folder on your hard drive. And there you go. OK, so that's one way of doing it if you've only got a few photographs. OK, let's imagine now you've got hundreds or thousands of photographs and videos. Really, what you don't want to be doing is going through and clicking all these like this because you'll just be there forever. OK, so what you have to do is you have to export them. We're going to be using Google Takeout. So let's come out of here just for a second. I'm just going to click on this cross here. Just get out of this little section here. And then if I go to the top right hand corner again, and we want to go to our accounts. If we go to data and privacy. And if we scroll down, we're looking for download or delete your data. OK, so download your data here. So we're in the Google Takeout area now. And now we're in here. We have scroll down and we're looking for. Actually, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to deselect all of these because I don't want to download absolutely everything or this unnecessary data here. So I'm just going to deselect all. So we've got nothing selected now, but we're going to scroll down. And you might want to click in Drive here, but what I'm looking for in particular is Photos, Google Photos. So if you scroll down to Google Photos here, put a tick into the box here. This is going to include all the photos from your Google Photos. So if everything on your phone is going to now get exported. OK, so scroll down again all the way. Next step. Now, it gives you some uh, choices here of how you want to access these photographs. Unfortunately, there isn't, a direct, there isn't a direct link to download onto your computer, which you think there would be, but there isn't. So we can either download link via email, add it to one of these drives here, but we're just going to do free by email. OK, this is the way I recommend you do it. 
So click on download, download link via email, scroll down again, create export. And it's going to put these files into chunks of two gigabytes. So if you've got thousands of photographs, they're going to be a lot of files, unfortunately, but this is the way that they've, this is the way they've organized it. So let's create export. Okay, right. So Google is creating a copy of the files from Google Photos. This process can take a long time, possibly hours or days to complete. So if you've got, again, thousands of videos or photographs, it can take a while, but in this case, it should just, it should just be a couple of minutes. And what happens is eventually, if you log into your emails, your Google email, your Google email account, you'll see an email from Google with the links to your photos. So let's do that. So I'm going to go to Gmail now. So if you go to your apps again, and go to Gmail. So as we can see here, look, our Google data is ready to download. If yours hasn't downloaded straight away, keep coming back. Like I say, it could take hours or days to do, but normally, normally it'd be a couple of hours maximum. So now what we want to do is we want to download your file, download our files, and this will put them onto our computer. So download your files, enter your details, click onto here. And as we can see, it's created a zip folder here of our photographs. If you've got hundreds of photographs, as I've only got a few photographs in Google Photos, there's only one download here. But if you've got hundreds or thousands of photographs, you're going to find you've got this repeated down the page and you're going to have to click on each of the downloads. So you, you potentially will end up with several downloads here, which is the only way you can do it, I'm afraid. So click on all the downloaded, click on all the download links. They'll appear down here. Click on open here. In your downloads folder you'll see a list here of all the different folders okay so if I double click into this one here take as and click into the folder here and go into photos there we go these are the photos here and that's how to get your photos from Google Photos onto your computer